um, Janet King will here. Uh, this is a picture that I took in our poplar forest. I loved the dark um, bank on either side of the stream with the variation in the leaves and looking out towards the distance. So I thought it would make a fantastic picture to, to base my ink and bleach drawing on because it's got the mid-tones, it's got the dark tones, and it's got the high contrast of the stream against the dark um, river. Okay. I'm using a Dela Rowney 300 gram cold pressed A4. So it's got a little bit of texture, but what I did find is that different papers create different uh, variations in your ink which I found very interesting um, but yeah so I started with a very diluted uh, big mop brush very very thin dilution of ink to just uh, lay out I don't draw I just went in fairly roughly and got my darks and my lights and the basic shape of my river and the trees you can see I've taken more intense ink so less diluted ink and filled in more uh, concentrated highlights and or rather the darker so that the the white and the darkness contrast given a little bit more detail with the leaves and some of the branches here i've gone in with some of the jick um, i tried to dilute it it's it seems to be fairly all or nothing in other words the jick reacts quite strongly with um, any form of the ink and you can see it's fairly wild it's not controlled it just sort of goes where it wants to you can come back in later with a drier ink or a drier jig and have a little more control but at this stage it's quite wild and uncontrolled had a little bit more finesse i started refining putting in a little bit of detail grasses leaves just slowly building up I took my dip pen, you know, the old old school dip pen and started scratching in lines and layering and alternating between dipping my dip pen into ink and then dipping it into bleach. Then you get your fine lines like you can see at the top of the tree branch that comes across at the top and you get this wonderful sharp highlight with a fine pen and then grasses and things like that. At this stage, it becomes quite addictive. You, The more you scratch, the more fun it becomes. And before you know where you are, things are sort of totally overdone and uh, you feel you need to, there's too much detail. In which case, uh, I'll show you the next picture. I went over some of the detail, calmed it down, diluted it a bit with water and mopped it a bit with a tissue. This is my final one. Once it was properly dry, I did take a hairdryer and dried it properly. I could go back in, make the bark a little bit more clear with a jick and scratch in some black ink lines on the trees, calm down some of the, the front pieces by lifting the color with a diluted, with a bit of water and a tissue and um, painting over some of the very busy yellow bits in front just to try and unify it and make it a little less busy but yeah very addictive very interesting uh difficult to know when to stop as always thanks very much bye